coverage. Uh, I'm now going to speak to the Honorable uh, the, His Excellency, uh, the Prime Minister of Lesotho, uh, Tom Tabane. Uh, Prime Minister, there's been quite a lot of talk about peace and stability in the region and of course Lesotho has always been coming in to say that mm. it's one of those troubled areas. Mm. Is there stability and peace now in Lesotho? Uh, we, we've had a very troubled time and I myself was victim of that problem in that I just came back home not so long ago. I spent uh, a year and a half for almost two years living in South Africa because uh, I had had problems with the army management at the time when I was uh, just after I had left my job as Prime Minister. I had to leave the country but I'm back now and I'm Prime Minister again. And uh, the first thing I've, I've done has been to tell the army to stay in barracks because that's what the law says and I think they're going to do that. I don't see them doing any other thing except that. Secondly, I'm now working on strengthening the police in order to bring down crime. There are also uh, crimes that were committed against certain people and so on. And I'm asking the courts, the prosecution authority and everybody to take those matters to court so that they can be settled legally in the courts of law. Now the last problem I'm facing now is that some of the army personnel who crossed the border with me because they were my bodyguards and so on have not yet found their way back home. And I'm now finalizing arrangements with the SADC, SADC facilitation and uh, Deputy President Ramaphosa and SADC in general that arrangements are being made for those soldiers also to go back home. They will be given the option either to go back and take up their jobs or to take packages and go home. And the last one is the ongoing court martial. I'm going to cancel it straight away because it is unfounded and it is, it is baseless. Prime Minister, I'm, interest, I'm interested to know from your side what would it take to have everlasting peace in your country? We have to work at it. You know, there was a time when uh, I was a student at Roma University and uh, we had South African students who were there and they were virtually like refugees. There were students from Mozambique and there were there was a very large number of students from Rhodesia and uh, it was always a big worry what their future would have been after they had got all the education they got from Roma University. Now, those are now very, very independent countries and uh, they got the education from Roma in Lesotho. The first cabinet of President Mugabe had uh, almost half were graduates of uh, past the 12th in Lesotho. So any country in the world can make a decision to straighten its act. And it's a time for Lesotho to do that. And I am devoting all my time now to normalizing Lesotho. And I know I will succeed because I have the support of all these ladies and gentlemen who were gathered here today. Uh, are you proud of the SADC now? Uh, in terms of the contribution or the role they've played in, in trying to assist? S SADC is absolutely great, yes. Now SADC is, is I think uh, any organization is as good as the people who are running it. I think the people who are running SADC today are very clear-minded people. And I think SADC has a big future. If it takes the particular tempo it is taking now, SADC is doing very well. Of course, many countries in the uh, region are facing economic challenges. Uh, back here uh, uh, in Lesotho, how do you perhaps navigate in terms of addressing the issues of the economy? That man, the call Bill Clinton, was asked a question what the problem was, and he said it is the economy. And he added to the man who was, who was, who was asking the question, he said, is the economy stupid? I will not use that, but I will say to you, quoting Clinton, 
I will quote him up to the point where he said it is the economy. We now have to work very hard to fight poverty. And to fight poverty, we've got to mobilize an economic structure where we can go to the higher level of development in terms of the economy. The problem now is shifting from the politics to the economy. We must go to the fields and plant food, both for our consumption and for sale, so that we get money to send our kids to school. And they go to school eating the surplus that is remaining in the family. Any kid who goes to school without having eaten breakfast will learn at a much lower level than his counterpart who had breakfast. Now, that question of hunger is extremely serious in the region today. It is not talked about well enough because people are ashamed of saying that they have no food. But there are families that have no food. Mm. And we have, we have to crack that problem in SADC. And I'm saying to my SADC colleagues, let's put this one aside. Let's make sure that we remove this hunger issue. And the motto of my party is Sarasamu Tukitala. It means man's weakest, biggest enemy is hunger. Let's solve the problems of hunger. I'm glad you touched on the issue of hunger. Yes. Uh, it goes back to the issue of food insecurity. What yes. would you say perhaps are, the, are some of the biggest challenges you are facing as a country, which is less suitable? As I said, it's, it's, it's abject poverty. There's poverty now in Lesotho. There's HIV and AIDS, which we haven't conquered yet. And then, of course, uh, it is a lack of peace and security. Those three, those three are solvable problems, but we have to work very hard to solve them. The recommendations on the reforms on the constitution and security reform, how do you ensure that there's Im implementation in that regard? We, we are partnering with SADC, but we are also having support from the international community. The Americans are very forthcoming to help us and so on. I think the immediate uh, past regime was not too keen on involving Americans and people. I'm going to involve them because they are coming in for the correct reasons and they have the, ca the capacity to fill the gaps that I would otherwise not be able to, uh, to, 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 to fill with our own resource base. So I'm going to involve the international community as well so that we get it right. As we conclude our engagement, are you inviting us to, to your wedding? Yeah, I think uh, you should bring your camera. Uh, I'm going to get myself a nice suit and you can take a picture of me in my new suit. And also, of course, the picture of my bride. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for, for yeah. joining us yeah. for the interview. Thank that was the much. Prime Minister of Lesotho, uh, Tom Tabane, joining us here for a, uh, for a discussion, uh, touching on a number of issues, peace and security in Lesotho, and also some of the challenges that uh, his country is, is facing. Uh, now it's back to my colleague, Patricia. Uh, she's going to...